Guys, this is my 50th video on the channel. It's been a journey, and there's no game series I'd rather this video be about than this one. Marvel vs. Capcom! This is my favorite series in my favorite genre of gaming. In this video, I'll be playing and beating six different games and going over why they're so amazing. Starting with... X-Men! There's only 10 characters in this game, 6 heroes and 4 villains. Such a small roster might look bad, but it actually benefits the game. Every character feels so distinct. One of the coolest characters is Iceman. Get it? Cool? Iceman's entrance is him emerging from an ice sculpture of his own name. His win animation is really cool too. Get it? Cool? He makes like a sculpture of himself and stands next to it. When you beat him though, he makes this face. That's the face of a man who's just found out he's been retconned into being gay. Seem like nice folks, but not being gay is perspective on the whole thing. And hey, Bobby, I'm just really proud of you for being so proud. Okay? That's really awesome of you. Hey everyone! Did you know Iceman is really gay? There's also characters I never thought I'd be into, like Spiral. She's got this one move where she switches places with her opponent. Switch! Oh! Oh! I'm about to throw up! Yo! Oh! You know what I'm saying? Oh! You feel oh. me? Oh, yo, I would... Yo, I don't even know what we would use that for, but I don't want to go against it! Her Hyper X move is even better. She grabs you and beats the hell out of you as every character in the game. The stages in this game are so well designed. I would have to say that Mojo World is my favorite. Look at this dude in the background all scary. The bosses in this game are cartoonishly powerful. I mean, Juggernaut is unstoppable. He can trap you in a loop of- And if you think Juggernaut's hard- Mag fucking Nito. Magneto's arsenal of attacks is legendarily cheap. When you do finally beat him, the ship you're on starts to explode. Luckily, Magneto saves you by blasting you back to the X-Mansion. I always loved how Magneto isn't really a bad guy. Also, these end credits have no right to be this fun. You gotta love this game. It's just so much fun and such a good adaptation of the Infinity Gauntlet comic. The art is beautiful. All of the character designs from gameplay to endings all look like a comic book come to life. This roster is awesome too. You got Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America. Then you have the two bosses, the main boss Thanos and the mini boss. Thanos is sort of like that one friend who has no idea how to play fighting games, so he just spams projectiles. And you have to play him like that. Draw him in and hit him with whatever your strongest attack is. Rinse and repeat, and he's done. Tag Team. It wasn't anything super new as games like the King of Fighters had already done the tag team thing, but it's the way Capcom implemented this feature that made it unique. In King of Fighters, for example, you have to wait for one character to be defeated before you move on to the next character. Capcom was like, nah, fuck that. Switch between them whenever you want. This opened up a whole new realm of combos and awesome techniques that set it apart from any other fighter. Plus, the boost it was given by featuring X-Men was a big advantage. X-Men in the 90s was the most epic superhero team. From cartoons to cards, they were all over the place. Kids' favorite mutants ain't turtles. 
Combining that with Street Fighter, which was an insanely popular video game, this could only be a success. I got my boy Dalsim in here and he sounds like... But then they have Sabretooth who sounds like an evil Homer Simpson. The final boss here is Apocalypse, who starts off looking pretty normal. Until he reminds you he's the boss. Honestly, he's pretty easy for a boss. After you beat him, he melts, and you have to fight against the other character on your team. It's worth noting that Wolverine's Akuma-specific ending is really cool. Are you ready, true believers? Capcom and Marvel have joined forces once again to bring you... This game is nothing but fun. Bringing together iconic Marvel heroes with our favorite world warriors. Cyber Akuma is the final boss here. For anyone else, this might be a difficult boss fight, but I'm playing as the greatest superhero of all time, so it's no big deal. Now to take this picture to the bugle and head back home. This game is incredible. So many different characters to choose from. Mega Man plays like you ripped him straight out of his game. And you know how much I love that game. And Venom is insane in these games. The way they utilize the symbiote for his moveset is really creative. He can turn into a giant mouth or he'll have little venoms pop out at you, and when he blocks he makes a big shield with the venom symbol on it. The final boss in this game is Onslaught, a combination of Magneto and Professor X. His final form is him with a giant skull. He flies all around the screen like a dick and you have to use your air attacks to beat him. Check out Mega Man's ending. Heroes. 56 playable characters, up to 3 people on a team, up to 5 levels of hyper combo meter, this game is off the wall. 2D characters, 3D stages, jazz music that'll change your life, this is the most fun a video game can be. Every ounce of this game was made to be as cool as possible, that's how things were back then. Oh, uh, why are Marvel guys fighting Street Fighter? Don't you even dare ask that stupid ass question. Because it's badass, that's why. I always have a nice time revisiting this game because let's be honest, it's a masterpiece. It's a timeless work of art and a celebration of two of my favorite things. Superheroes and video games. That being said, the final boss is Abyss and he is a bitch. He has three different forms, but I have three different people so I beat him anyway. So that's it. You're probably wondering where Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is. Well that game, along with many others, will be featured in my upcoming video, Fighting Games Part 2. This video is actually the first in a series of videos replaying through all of the games from my first ever video, Fighting Games Part 1. In these videos I'll be going more in depth than I did back then, and even playing more games. All of these videos are leading up to the epic sequel which will be out on August 11th, so come back and watch it when it comes out.